We are continuing our series looking at how leading rural businesses are operating under Level 4 lockdown. Peter Newbold is the GM of Livestock and Real Estate for PGG Rights. And, and, and Peter, I'm going to throw this one at you to start with because I want to talk about the livestock as well. But once Auckland gets out of lockdown, do you think Aucklanders will want to get out of Auckland permanently? And I'm talking about lifestyle properties perhaps around other regional centres, Hamilton, Tauranga. Yeah, Jamie, I think uh, I think we'll see, again, a big movement, like we saw after the last big lockdown. So I'm convinced that we'll see a lot of people will be sitting back at the moment and going, yep, maybe I should go to what I call provincial New Zealand, uh, where values are a bit cheaper, lifestyle is better, and as we know in the provinces, um, you know, that's where the heart of the country is, and good people and just a whole lot of reasons why you go there. So I think we'll see a continued big movement. The issue will be, have we got enough uh, stock available? But, you know, we'll soon see as time moves on. But, yeah, I think we'll see that, uh, as I call it, metropolitan spread uh, again uh, take hold of us. Yeah, there's no doubt the best place place to spend lockdown uh, isn't in a city. I want to go back uh, to the livestock selling. Not much of it's happening at this time of the year, thankfully, because we're flat out uh, in the livestock industry with, with calving and lambing. So if there is to be a disruptive period, now's as good as any. Yeah, look, it is. It's, it's probably one of the quietest times of the year for us. I guess under Level 4, there's not a lot um, we can do. Uh, and really, if we are going to get involved on farm, it can only be really around you know, areas of welfare. So, for example, you know, farmer needs to move stock and, and the like. And then it's pretty strict. You know, we have to follow certain pro- protocols um, and, you know, we need to be registered and approved and all those things. So, really, the majority of any work that's taking place at the moment is, you know, the old-fashioned way on the phone. But if we have to get on farm, it's really just around uh, welfare. What happens when we get down to level three, and hopefully it's sooner rather than later, and I suspect that provincial and regional New Zealand will get down to level three, obviously, before Auckland does. So what happens to livestock sales then? Do you have, for instance, the fielding stock sale yards operating? Yeah, well, it, it, it's interesting. There's two parts to it. I think the our, our agents being able to go on farm doesn't really change a lot between level four and level three. But what does come into play is sale yards, and so that means we can operate our sale yards through the country. Uh, there's strict protocols around that, um, you know, around distancing and how we operate and sanitising and et cetera, and the numbers we can have in there. We can only have purchases, et cetera. And so that will be quite a big change for us, and I think we'll see quite a bit of activity take place when that occurs and also what it also does is bring the opportunity where we can have hybrid online sales through our bidder platform so those that are outside of the region can then still partake. So a uh, big change on level three in how you know our livestock business can operate, which is a real positive. So let's move from the livestock industry to the real estate industry, uh, putting on that hat. Gee, you wear a number of hats at PGG Rights and Peter Newbold. Uh, have we got... People, investors, are sitting in lockdown, trawling websites, looking for investments in rural New Zealand. Yeah, we do, Jamie. And, you know, without talking it up, um, I think we probably haven't seen this for a number of years. But if you look around, there is a lot of people from from different walks of life who are wanting to invest uh, or reinvest in that area. Um, I think we'll see quite a bit of activity coming into the spring, and that'll be, of course, subject to weather, um, where we've got, you know, a, a, a large range of good listings coming to the market. And I think if you look at specifically, say, sheep and beef or grazing properties, there'll be a big demand for that. And we're already seeing that now in the off-season. And the other piece which is um, quietly changing from, you know, a few months ago is there is a lot more interest in dairy. And there's actually sales taking place. So I think as we come into spring, um, timing will be subject to weather. Um, I think we'll start to see that whole rural marketplace again move forward like it did over the last 12 months. And I can see no reason why that won't, that won't continue for a couple of seasons. Are you going to get anywhere near the peak that you got to in 2014, do you think? Um, 
I actually think we will. Um, it's always challenging making predictions, but you know, when you look at the whole situation we're in and, and, and where the world is, I would say there's a good chance that we will surpass that as people offshore start to realise that you know proteins are important, and New Zealand is one of the better places that uh, produces them. Hey, and one more, just to quickly finish on, the horticulture industry, there's an industry on the rise at the moment, and if COVID has taught us one thing, it's that the world uh, yearns, demands healthy food. Yeah, and look, and I think that's even internally too, when you see uh, you know, what people are buying and how they want to buy local and the investment that's going into that whole area. So uh, again, we're just starting to see a little bit of movement in that space, and I think as we move on towards the Christmas time, we will see more activity in that space. And, and I think you'll see people coming in and thinking it as a good place to invest. And because of the opportunities that exist, uh, you know, when you produce, produce good produce. Yeah, go and buy an avocado orchard or a kiwi fruit farm and get a house with it. Live the dream. In fact, yeah, lease but... it out, lease it out, get someone else to do all the work and live the dream in relative isolation in rural New Zealand. There you go. There's a thought from me, uh, Peter Newbold. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, you enjoy the rest of your day in central Otago in lockdown. Yeah, we will do, Jamie, and nice to speak.